I'm having fun. I'm having fun. Hi, I'm Amy Annette. <laughs> and this is Karen. And if I was just going to let you know who you're dealing with up top, I would tell you this story. Is that twice this year, I have let my phone, uninsured phone, fall and smash to the floor to save the thing that was in my other hand, which was, both times, bread. <laughs> I love bread! <laughs> I'm a proclaimed feminist, and I think that's part of the reason why I'm now able to talk about bread. I mean, I have to say, I'm a pretty privileged feminist, so my feminism pretty much consists of power poses <laughs> and depressing facts. <laughs> hey, Karen. What year do you think in the marriage certificate it changed from saying spinster to single in the relationship history section? I don't know, like 1950? No, Karen, it was the year of Shrek 2, 2004. <laughs> 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 Karen, that means that you watched Shrek 1 as a spinster. <laughs> I actually haven't seen Shrek 1. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> So much has changed since 2004. So much has changed since 2000. I've changed, but feminism really has changed. I don't know if you've seen it now, but corporate feminism, feminism for business is alive and kicking. It's pretty wonderful to see. Feminism can help you get ahead in the workplace. It turns out that all this time, we were just missing this one thing. Confidence. Oh. Just have more. Yes. <laughs> but it turns out the problem was you all along. <laughs> Okay, Amy. Yeah. Amy. Yeah. Show me confidence. Okay. Um. Power okay, pose. that's much too much. That's very unlikable. Okay, Sorry. you have to tone that right down. Okay, I want to be likable. Right down, Amy. I want to be likable. Less. I want to be likable. Okay. Less. I want to be likable. Much, much less. Down. Further down. That is perfect. <laughs> Thanks, Karen. Mm. Corporate feminism is pretty much white privileged women talking to other white privileged women. Which is why it's absolutely bonkers. Oh, mamma mia, it's so crazy. <laughs> Let me tell you, my friend, she actually works in a corporate space. And she had a uh, Karen come into her office to do a sort of women in the workplace session. And her session was all about being a woman talking in a meeting. When you're a woman talking in a meeting, yeah. and first off, congrats. <laughs> It's very important that you say something before the meeting begins, just to settle the room to your voice. Because if you just start speaking willy-nilly halfway through the meeting, what will happen is that the men in the room will be so shocked by the high pitch of your lady voice uh. that they won't actually hear a word that you say. Oh, Karen, what are you talking about? I mean, what are they going to do? Be like, ah, ah, a bat. A bat has got in. We've got a phrase that we actually like to suggest that you can use at the beginning of these meetings. Mm, the phrase, the phrase. Let me tell you about the phrase. I love the phrase. The phrase is something that a Karen once said to my friend, a high-powered businesswoman with confidence, with no shame. The thing that she wanted my high-powered female friend to say in a meeting, to settle the room to her voice was... We suggest you say, are these pencils for the meeting? <laughs> Are these pencils for the meeting? Karen, pencils, nobody's using pencils anymore. We're using pens, we're using computers, and some dickheads are still using tablets. But at the end of the day, no one is asking women the proper question. What do you want in a meeting? And what all we want is just a bit of accountability. Sorry, is there a bat in here? <laughs>